uh, some initial worries earlier, Brit, because I'm this is a, my first time streaming properly with a two PC stream, and um, I'd been testing it over the weekend and got it all working, and then come tonight, just like half an hour before uh, I was due to stream, I tested it with a different game and it fell down. It didn't work, but so far I think it's holding. There's no drop frames and. And no one said anything in chat that it's not playing ball, so I I think it's been all right. But we shall see afterwards whether it's all recorded and stuff properly. Okay, let's go and do another one of these. I'm in the mood for some more Gwent now. Hey, Edgar. Emiron? Emiron? Who's Emiron? Oh, was that the card I got? Hmm. Are we in the right place? Oh, who's the merchant, by the way? Is this one of the guys I rescued earlier? The North must is not. be a terribly barbaric land. Hello, cheers, how did you? In need of anything? <laughs> That's how we greet each other in Toussaint. Mind if I glance at your stock? The wizard. Ermion, you mean? Or, uh, did I... Am I misremembering? In, in the books, he's called something else. Uh, I can't remember, it's mouse something. Oh, this guy's got loads of money. Right, let's unload some trash. Except that's not exactly trash. Those are some good swords. Hmm. I might consider, reconsider those. But the, this black stuff, that can all go. And let's see, what have we got? Oh, that's, that's worth nothing. That's such a shame. I'll keep Geralt's armor from the tournament because that looked pretty good. Toussaint Knight's trousers. Uh, that wasn't it, was it? Knight's gauntlets, trousers. Good, get rid of those. That's Geralt's stuff. Oh, what else can I sell? I know what I've got. I'll tell you what I've got. Um, so Geralt of Rivia's saddle. I don't feel like I can sell that as much as I really want to because I don't see me using it. I got loads of rubbish in here, didn't I? Proper junk. So Geralt of Rivia's shield. I can stick that up in the house somewhere. No, but I mean like um, silver pantaloons. Who the hell wears silver pantaloons? That's got to be really uncomfortable. No, I'm actually thinking about like this stuff. This is pure trash. And I have no idea why I am carrying it around. Oh, can I not sell more than that? It must have been the crafting things. I've got bear skins and stuff, I know. You forgot about the upgrades? You wondered why I could see my lipstick? My lipstick? Three rune slot. Yeah, it's very nice stuff. I haven't tried any of the dyes. No, I haven't messed around. Yeah, cheers, dang. Uh, the bear hides is what I was looking for in here. Um, what is that? Necker Warrior's liver. Am I in the right section here? This is all alchemy stuff, is it? Did I sell the bear hides already? Maybe I sold them already, did I? I would have thought they'd be in here. What's this? Patched up vest? Old bear hide. All right, okay. We're in the right section then. Let's... Ooh, don't sell that hate the way that the inventory just auto decides where it's going to go. Get rid of that. Just so it's nice and tidy. That looks like some rubbish. Worn leather pelt. I thought I had more than that though. I might want to break this stuff down. So I'm, I'm kind of holding on to that. So what's taking up all my weight? It's not food and drink. Is it, is it those two swords? Can't be that heavy. Something must be really weighing me down somewhere. But this stuff's like, this is all light stuff. Silver pants. Silver underpants? No. A casket? No. Beauclair silver plated wine bottle? I don't know. Don't think the books will be weighing me down. There's maybe something else that this isn't showing up to this merchant. I don't know. They shouldn't be. That saddle weighs a bit. The armor? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have left this in the flipping the mansion house. Look at that. 11.81. So Geralt of Rivia's armor. Okay, now we know what it is. I'm tempted just to sell those on the assumption I'm going to get some better ones. Let's cash them in. There's always going to be something better comes along. See ya. Yeah, I wonder, can I actually put that armor set up on display in the house? I know I can put shields on the wall. Unbeatable barking. Preferential financing from the Chanfanelli's on every armor put. The armor. Okay. Could have sold all this, the armor to this guy. Maybe got a better price. Let's see what he's got. Uh, nothing. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Dare, dare I go with um, Went. Interested in a round Skellig around? Skellig set? I don't think so. I'm going to go straight in with Northern Realms Jewel again. We want to win this. Rage. You got both sets displayed in the house with the crests? Cool. Ravix of Fourhorn and Geralt of... How did you get both? I need the mannequins to do that. In the middle there is Master Crested Wolf Armor set. Oh, that looked nice. Uh, what have we got? We've got some. Got a good hand here. Let's trade in Dandelion for a decoy. We're playing Northern Realms. Decoy's maybe not that important. And he can go. I think that worked out well. I'm very sort of nervous about Gwent now after that last thrashing that I just got. Two thrashings. Oh, New Game Plus. Oh, do you get to keep? Do you get to keep all the items when you go to New Game Plus? I thought you just got to keep your stats. Let's play that and see what he brings back against me. A third decoy. Oh well. Two of them are going to come in useful. Yeah, we can play this. Game of Spies. Interesting choice. Before he burns me out, I'll get that one back as well. You put the stuff you wanted to keep in the chest and then it carried over. Ah, I did not know that. Only only armor and swords? Oh, that's something to look forward to anyway. Ah, he knows I'm going to give him a lot of points here. Unless I scorch them all out. Which I may do. Yeah, my GPU use has dropped down to 7% during a game of Gwent. It's only when I'm running around outside that it's getting hammered. That's what it should be. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, nice. Two of these. Right, great. I'll double up on them. And then I shall scorch them, being worth 10 pointers. Yeah, I thought he might pass. Um, well, let's play that as well. Or do I just give him the entire round? Mind if I scorch? No, I just scorch and he loses 20 points straight away. I was thinking of freezing them, but that would work against me. So let's just scorch. Get rid of them. And all I need to do is a 10 point card. Oh, I want to play that first. Do I want to play? No, I've got tons of heroes. I'll leave that. Um, I need... I need eight, so it's that one. That'll do, and we'll get a card back for winning that as well. I think I got everything in there I wanted. You keep most of the stuff that you can put into the chest. Some important quest items will be gone, but you keep potions and bombs. Books will be gone too. Oh, I shall have it all to look forward to at some point. Right, let's trigger... Let's see if I can bait him out with a Scorch. I don't want to put two eights out. Because that is bound to get a Scorch. Um, go on then. Let's play him out. Get 
Commander's ability, I think. Oh, hang on. No, sorry. I've got to be honest. When I have to go and play this Gwent tournament with the Skelliger deck, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm hoping that the last few cards will really turn that one around. Let's put that one out. I'm trying to protect myself from Scorch with my big scoring stuff. Got quite a nice score too. He won't use the bad weather. He might use that one. That's fine. Hmm. Let's keep going at this. Do I want to use a decoy? I don't think so. Let's see. Ah, oh, let's try using some of these up. Let's just burn some cards. Make him spend some. Takes the lead. Gwent cards will be gone too in New Game Plus. Gives you something to play for on the second uh, second run. Got a good score. Let's keep going. Only a two card advantage. Plus two healers. Go on, let's keep going. 30 points and two cards there. That's a lot. I think he's running out of the good stuff. Okay, time to trigger this. There's no way he's going to use a bad weather because that will... Ooh, shall I spy him? That'll give me a monstrous... That'll give me a monstrous score. Let's do this first. Because it might make a big difference to how he plays. Okay. So far, so good. That would burn a couple of those out. Let's play that. I just want to make him play a card. I just want to waste it. Got a good score on his back row. It's not going to be enough though. One card left. Let's play one more hero, and then we're going to play some some super cards. He's passed. Oh, that's an easy win then. Big score though. Let's see what we can do. Yep, that was nice. Oh, can I can I beat two hundred here? I don't think I can, but not unless I have a card I can bring back and... Nope, I can't. Ah, oh, it's not going to be 200. It would be so nice if it was 200. Unless... Unless... What was the other card left in here? Or a cow. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping I had a siege engine left in there. 170, 185. Don't know if that's my best one. I don't think I've gotten over 200 before. Anyway, that makes up for getting beaten by the barmaid twice. So what's he going to give me? A witcher. We could use one around here. Clan Drummond Shield Maiden. Okay, that might be useful. Let's take a look how the Skelliger deck's shaping up. Uh, Skelliger, King Brand. See, King Brand's a good card. I've not really found a use for the other guy. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. There is a use for that. Actually, I'm not sure that there is. I see a use for that guy, but... <clears throat> there will be a use for King Brand. I just... Uh, for, sorry for crack and crate. I just haven't thought of it yet. Let's see. We've got some better cards in here now. Yep, Ermion, the Druid. And what was the other one I got? It was a Shield Maiden, wasn't it? Put that in as well. So it's got total card strength. It's quite good, but it's 
not got any specials. Not really good stuff in there. Isn't there an achievement you can get for a certain amount of points? You know you have it, but you can't remember what you needed. There's, you get it for beating... I can't remember what the achievement is. There's one for beating the enemy by by so much. I totally forget what it is. But um, I got one achievement in Gwent for doing something like that. Got some lovely cards now. I'll, I'll, I'll have to try the Gwent one next. I will need to get practice with it. I suppose it's no good just running around, never playing. Let's head over towards this place. Which is kind of on the way of where we want to be. I was going to mount that little kid there. Oh, hang on, it's defaulted my quest to something up there. We're actually heading for that. Out the way. I just taken the wrong turn there. have to look to fairy tales to find a witch Oh, nice. Wild horses. Can't be too much further away. Whoa. <laughs> See, Roach has got better steering than I have. What is that? It looks like something horrible that's going to try and eat me. Guarded treasure. It's a foglet. Uh, just a minute. What are foglets? Are they... I have no idea, actually. Are they... Not necrophages, are they? Well, not insectoids. We do know that. Necrophages. They are the foglets. Okay. I did not know that. I thought they were like... Uh, something else, not necrophages. Try a bit of ard on these people. Well, that worked. That brought him out of his fancy little hidey hole, didn't it? Ha! Get him. Go on, get him. Oh, there's two bastards. Just a minute. And why am I dying horribly? <laughs> That's not... There's what? How many of these are there? Uh, I think we're going to have to... When this and my sword's broke in just a minute. We can fix that. He says. Journeymans. Let's get that repaired as much as we can. These people do not play nice. <laughs> I was watching another streamer playing this. Kugra is a Australian streamer. I don't get to see him very often because he like streams. Well, his time zone's 12 hours apart from me. Um, but uh, yeah, he was complaining he didn't like Foglets either. I think that one was trash talking me actually. Get him while he's down. These lots are mean. Holy hell. What about let's let's try setting some of these things on fire. But it works. I told him I needed to kill his his foggy. Oh, nearly, nearly. Yes, okay. Ouch. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Some of the uh, monsters are giving me a run for my money in this game tonight. I like what they've done with the DLC, actually. I like a couple of things they've done, not just the story, but I like the fact they've added the Skelliger deck in and that it's not as strong certainly at the start, as the other decks, because um, by this point in the game, you can build up monstrously powerful decks, and it would just make playing more Gwent a bit a bit too simply, simplified, maybe. And I like the fact that the, the monsters feel like they're a lot harder in this. 
and that's good because by the end of the main game I felt like I was getting complacent with things so this this is all good Smiggle Sm Smiggle Circus's note that has got to be a reference to uh, Andy Circus who played Smeagol in Lord of the Rings it has to be Yerden against these would that work actually Ard is great against them just cooked your dinner, Dan. Cake back. I saw Mark need to get wrecked by a ghoul. Spoon made of pure gold. Let's take all that stuff. Right, this has got to be Andy Circus. Let's see what it says. I was dead right. Yep. <laughs> I love this game for putting in stuff like this. I'm not putting the Gollum accent on, though. I've lost him. My dearest. Someone has stolen him. My darling. My treasure. My spoon. That creature from the Caraberta Woods must have been it. All the help says towns abuzz with talk about missing spoons. Oh, we're on a quest for this thing about missing spoons, actually. For much time now, indeed, since this creature has stolen cutlery from old Beauclair and has not yet been caught by our valiant guard. It means it must be clever. Tricky, even. And anyone clever can be swayed by arguments, especially financial ones. So I asked my jeweller, Marthenberg, to make me a spoon out of pure gold, which I shall take to the Caraberta Woods to find that monster and propose a trade. A spoon of gold for my most precious spoon. <laughs> well, I guess you have to get inspiration for all the quests from somewhere, right? Do the golem. I can't do the golem voice. I certainly can't do it today. My throat's been not sore exactly, but it's just feeling like uh, a little bit like I've been drinking too much black coffee. Not burnt, not... I can't describe it. It's not like a sore throat. It's not a horse. It's just... Like I've been, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like it's had, like I've drunk something acidic, but not really nastily acidic, just... It, 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 no, but I'm not going to try the Gollum voice regardless. I should maybe get a voice mod installed, where I can hold down a button that turns me into a Gollum voice. That would be pretty cool. Although the last time I played with that, it had all sorts of issues with the uh, latency for the stream and stuff. Never a good omen. Beast oil for these? They look like beasty things. Now uh, let's just put a bit of coin on. Oh, actually, okay, let's set them on fire. Where's my. Damn, where's my stamina points when I need them? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die horribly. Go on, get some stamina. Just need that sign casting, please. Not that one, I wanted Quen. <laughs> one down, that looks like it's blowing up. Holy crap, that's some glare on the lights. Get him, get him, get him, stuck on a tree. Yes. <laughs> Gonna do it in style. That was quite good fun, actually. You talking about the foglets? Oh, sorry, I thought you meant the, uh, right, the golem voice. Okay. <laughs> the music's changed. Something's quite sinister. My arm is knackered. Well, I did say I was going to use this stuff instead of... Uh, Spending money at armor smiths. So let's get rid of. Whoop! Dies. No! I don't want. You can only change the color of items belonging to Witcher gear sets. I quite like the color of the Witcher gear. I don't want to change it. Uh, where were we? That one? Amateurs. That's me. Let's use as many of those as we can, actually. That's fine. That's my way of repairing armor. I like that. Quick and simple. By the way, do I look a bit dark on the ca on the camera tonight? I changed the, the uh, webcam settings a little bit. I sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. You are kidding me. If you level up Ard, it will knock them down to finish them, and 360 Ard will reveal their locations in good distances. 
That would be pretty handy. Especially the odd mutation thing you can get that will froze enemies. Very convenient. A tempered spoon. Locked. I like the sound here. I like the music. This is pretty cool. It's creepy, but not in a horror scary way. More like a, an intriguing sort of there's a mystery here way. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Geralt knows his stuff. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. When you first played Witcher, you was a uh, Igni pleb, and then you went to the Quen pleb, and then found the Ard Freeze mutation thing and stayed with it. Art is pretty good. Igni's fun. I do like uh, Igni. You like this quest, Meteor? Cool. Oh, Indigo knows his stuff. Indigo is, is the go-to. Or one of the... I need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. On a spoon, of course. Saliva's going to be on a spoon. Um, yeah, Indigo is one of the... One of the several go-to people to ask for witcher stuff. Uh, people who've been following this game. Collector. Or following Our me bread. playing this game. We're going to have to meet this white at some point. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Let's go see what this blue thing down here was. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. I want to know what the what the the punchline of this quest is going to be. Oh, what's this? A stained diary. For a few days, I've been having dizzy spells. I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit a herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. Not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today, there are no wrinkles. But I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's got to be because of those damned herbs. Yes, because herbs will make hair grow on your breasts. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. She must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness, no family, eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing. Eat. It hurts. Mirror. Lies. No. Ah. Uh... What have we got here, folks? Uh, did I ever see Alita Battle Angel? No, never seen that, ever. Hi, Captain Bear. Nice to see you. How's things for you? You don't read that much into the Beast Street. You kind of just try and see what makes things easier for you. That's a nice way of playing. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. 